Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2016 Subaru Legacy pearl white uh, three-stage paint that has some collision damage. Uh, not specifically a large collision, but the dent for paintless dent repair is pretty severe. You can see that it has some transfer there. It goes all the way down into the bumper. And uh, we're going to obviously just focus on this main dent. I'm going to buff off the scuff there. Uh, we should just get started on that part. Let me turn the hat around for you guys so you guys can see what I'm looking at. But before we can even really analyze this dent, we want to see how much of this scuff is going to buff off. So obviously we get out the 3M Perfect it, and I'm going to have to use a pretty generous amount to get some of this stuff off. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know how easy it's going to come off, but it's kind of a... Uh, little mini product review in the video of the 3M Perfected. This is the um, compound that I use and I use it by hand and I don't use one of the power buffers. Um, hopefully you guys can hear us okay. Got the microphone on, got a little bit of um, meditation music in the background. And I do wanna say thanks for everybody clicking on this video and thanks to you to all the new subs. I mean, we love to see this community grow we're just here to have fun and uh, show what we know. Oh, that's coming out. Look at that, that's just the first once over and I only did about this much of it. But with this product, I'm not pushing hard. I'm not trying hard. I'm just really lightly taking a pea sized bit and getting it on those main scuffs with basically one finger and uh, not pushing hard at all. Just kind of the weight of the rag. Let that come out real nice. This product saves my my hide a lot of times because sometimes it'll have most of the time a dent has a scuff in it because of whatever made the dent and you got to be able to see that surface really fine and fine and dandy to be able to basically see where that tip is going to be so i see right here we have a little scrape let's see if a little bit more will get it off oh wow patience and a little bit more product a little bit more product on that no nope, not a sponsored video definitely not by 3m um, I've uh, had a lot of customers take pictures of that bottle and most likely go and buy it themselves because it is such a phenomenal product but um, nobody from there gives me any free perfected liquid okay so yeah we even got some of that scuff off the uh, bumper it does do wonders. We'll get all the way up around this edge, and I definitely want to try to get everything that I can. The nice thing about this product is, even when I get it up in this black stuff, it just wipes right out. And we get it nice and clean. So now, I'm not too worried about this little black line down here. We can always just give it a real good scrub. I actually pushed kind of hard there, but some of that plastic is scratched. Not my worry. I'm gonna turn on the heat. Sorry about the background noise, guys. We are out here in nature. <clears throat> and uh, feels like it was a little bit of wax there. But wow, that whole scuff came completely out. So let's turn it on hot and let's turn it up to maybe half on the heat gun. Yeah, and I uh, thought I didn't forget anything, but Actually, I remember what I forgot. My thermometer. And if we look at this, 120, 122 already. <coughs> so we might do a uncut version of this dent. If it gets hot enough, ooh, it sure is. It's getting hot quick. And we want it to be nice and warm. We don't want this to get warm. We don't want this to get warm. But just right here in the center of that wedge, we want it to get nice and warm. It looks like there's still some more scuff right there. Uh, I'll worry about it actually after. That's just scuff. We know that that scuff will come out. So here's what I want to do, guys. You guys can see it better than I can because you're looking into that. But obviously, I'm going to go with the... Um, uh, do I really want to... I'm looking at it very closely here. I'm doing some inspection on this dent. Do I really want to just kind of do the manual labor thing? I don't think so. I think I want to get my 
tool in here. And see how much tension that has. It's nice and warm. Let me just try it. There we go, a little bit of uh, manual pulling. We're gonna definitely need to take those brows down. And I should probably do that first. But I'm gonna come through here really nice and tight and get this low out of this area right here. Right along this line. Ooh, it's hot. It's even hot on my hands underneath. Don't want to burn any paint, that's for sure. Um, and now the reason why this dent doesn't want to basically come out or pop out or move is because of all that tension in there. And I'm just at the center of it on the bottom side. I don't really want to push on it. What I'm going to do is do some tapping. I'm going to get that board nice and tight and see where if I pull this out with my finger, I've got my thumb kind of behind it, and then I'm actually giving it some movement with the chain jacks. So guys, I, you know, I thought I'd be able to do this whole dent. There's no way. I planned uh, easily an hour or two for a dent like this. And um, we wouldn't have the battery to do an hour or two long video, but I think that we got a lot of it out here so far. At least uh, looking better. I might even come in a little tappy squishy here and uh, do this. Actually, maybe move this off to the side. And get that brow down. So um, we might even do a little super speedy where we got uh, a lot of brow work to do here. And uh, brow work, run out this bottom line. Um, it looks like the whole panel was a little bit tugged in. And I don't want to do that, what I just did. But I can always fix that. And it did straighten it out a lot just by getting that panel out where I needed it to. Yeah, straightened it out a lot. Took a lot of that tension out. Um, I used to use a lot of the old rawhide hammer like this, that slappy resonance feel. But nothing compares to this hammer right here. And uh, just putting metal to metal. out it's a patient process guys this one's gonna take some time so I think what we're gonna do I'm gonna buff this little thing out I'm gonna tap this brow down and then I'm gonna come in and make some super finite pushes through the line here um, have some of it on speedy and then we'll come back and show you the end result in just a bit Okay guys, we're, we're back. We've done a lot of brow work. Um, I wouldn't say I'm 100% done, and this dent will never be 100% uh, complete, but looking at the lines here, we got them all pretty straight. There's a little wave on the top of the brow there. There's a little wave on the bottom of the brow, and uh, I've been basically just finding those waves, giving them the taps they need. I just turned on my microphone, so hopefully that'll sync up. Um, and doing a lot of this. And I was going to say uh, to you all that I probably should have taken down that brow before I pulled on that fender a little bit with my hand. It probably would have saved me some time. Maybe I was impatient there. Um, but either way, I think this thing is right to where we said we wanted to get it and uh, all I would basically be doing right now is finding some tiny little lows um, the tools I've been using this whole time is uh, just the R32 and the um, number one here so 
Uh, and I'm just going in here and finding my little tiny lows that need a little bit of love and uh, straightening them up. The panel's actually cooled down now, so I shouldn't make too many pushes on this cold panel. Um, <clears throat> and very last little things, maybe a little, maybe a little tug right here that I want to tap out. But I thought I would bring you guys in for the end kind of end result and a little bit of the end work on it because I'm not quite ready to uh, put the fender back together but very close so on that note I think it is looking pretty good I even have a little bit of a uh, just normal white it's not three stage pearl or anything I think it's like Kia white and I'm just gonna hit that little spot it's not the right color we know but we're just gonna get a little white chip there instead of a black chip just because that'll I don't know take the eyeball off of it a teeny bit um, and paint is not really my thing I do uh, I do actually paint I do actually do oil on canvas painting but uh, that's only for fun so yeah, I see a little teeny low that I could make a push down here that will literally just clean this thing up really nice. A um, little bit of background noise there. And that little wave that you saw in the brow should be straightened out actually by now because I just made the right pushes. But either way, I think we gave uh, the customer what they wanted in this occasion. This is a super nice car for a super nice person. and We want to do it as good a job as possible. Um, let me put some of this stuff back together. Now I'm just feeling this lip and following it all the way up and around. And then when it gets tight, I give it a little push. Clip goes all the way up. Get the old glasses on, spin the old hat around, and then take one dab of cross-check that thing yeah I think that came out nice it's got a little tightness to it and I could even tap on that tightness a little bit um, but before I do that let's just take one dab of perfect it and get that little scuff off where I was tapping so much that little white chip is oh, I don't want to touch the fresh paint either which luckily I didn't. But yeah, that one came out pretty darn nice. I mean, that was crushed in. And for us to get that body line out without any kind of fracture in this nice paint, that's what we're going for. Um, yeah, I think the customer's gonna be really happy with this one. Uh, if you guys like what you see, hey, make sure that you hit us up on the comment section and uh, tell us what you think about it. Um, this one is just another day in the life of PDR, but uh, we want to always do our best work and put out our best com uh, content for YouTube. So uh, if you guys would, leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what you'd like to see more of or what you'd like to see less of or if you like the music or if you like the speedy versions or whatever. I don't know. Um, other than that, I'll just say the thing. Hey, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.